Hi, welcome to this video about this assignment. So you're going to be copying this piece of music by using two different methods. So first we're going to do simple entry with a MIDI keyboard and then speedy entry with a MIDI keyboard. So the first thing we need to do is get our simple entry tool in, um, enabled. There it is. <clears throat> and you should go up to the speedy, the simple entry menu and make sure that use MIDI device for input is checked. You want that to be checked. Now the way simple entry works is that you simply uh, you have to get the caret on the right staff, right? So you can do a command arrow down to get it on the bass staff. And then you simply play your keyboard and as soon as you play it, the note will be entered. This differs from speedy entry. Speedy entry allows you to hold down the note and then trigger it by hitting the note value already chosen. As you can see, it's a whole note, but I want to change it to a half note, so I hit 6. Now the note uh, value has been chosen. Now I simply need to hit my pitch. Now I'm going to hit a C, but you'll see the C is too high, so that means on my uh, keyboard, which is only a two-octave keyboard, I need to put my octave down lower. Try again, mm -hmm. one more octave lower, and now it's in the right location. Then I hit my A, G above that, and my G below that. And I've got all my notes in the bass. Now I go up, arrow up, arrow over, and I'm ready to start entering my voicings. But remember, I put my keyboard octave down, so I have to bring my keyboard octave higher again. And now, remember, with simple entry, Whatever you play is what's going to go in the music, so you have to be ready to play it correctly. You have to choose the right note value in advance, so I'm choosing a quarter note. And here we go. And it enters immediately. Um, now I'm going to change the note value to, to an eighth note, play the, the note E. Then I play the note D. And now I'm ready for my next voicing. I have to get ready to play it to be a quarter note. Then I play my voicing. It goes in. You'll notice that the uh, D flat should really be a C sharp, so we command arrow up, hit the backslash to change the enharmonics, then move back forward, uh, arrow over to the right. And it's time for me to enter a few more notes, some eighth notes. And then I, now it's time for triplets. Okay, so for a tri to engage a triplet, you should change the value to an eighth note. Then hit the number nine, which will turn it into triplets, triplet value. Um, and then hit uh, the note you want, which will, ne it's now sort of in triplet mode. The number nine triggers that. Then I hit my F, then I hit my D. And now I've completed this passage in simple entry. Now let's go down here and change over to, to get it out of the triplet mode. Just click on that little triplet thing to get it to stop being a tuplet. Okay, let's do speedy entry now. So you've got to go to the speedy entry tool, right? And up on the speedy entry menu, make sure that you've chosen use MIDI device for input. By the way, you might want to deselect jump to next measure because sometimes you want to take some time to add a tie or something before jumping the next measure. So we come down here, click on this measure, and it uh, looks like I already entered a note here. You, by the way, you can delete a note by just simply hitting the delete key if the little cursor is over it. Okay, so we're in speedy entry. Now make sure the caps lock is off because if the caps lock is on, you, um, speedy entry will behave like simple entry, but we don't want it to do that. We want it uh, understand the difference between them. So with the caps lock off, it will behave in the normal speedy entry way. Now that this here's the big difference. In speedy entry, you can play the note and hear it before you enter it. So I'm now this note is not being entered yet until I hit the note value, which of course is the note six. Then when I hit six, it's entered. So it kind of gives you this moment to think about what you're doing, maybe hear the note, hear the chord, make sure it's right, then you hit the note value with your other hand. So now it's time for the note A. I hit the note A. Then I hit my 6 to enter it. And now at this point I can arrow over. Um, <clears throat> if I had this other thing selected, it would automatically go to the next measure. So sometimes it is good to have it automatically selected. I'm now going to hit my D. 
and I'm now going to hit my G and now it automatically moved over there where I'm going to hit my C and I'm going to do a whole note now. Uh, seven, so I have a whole note. There we go. And it added an extra measure which I can just delete and the way you can get rid of that automatically adding an extra measure thing is right here as well. Um, in the simple, in the, in the speedy entry options you can um, deselect create new measures automatically if you don't want that. Okay, let's go up here and do the chords. The chords are, now I can hold down my chord, make sure I've got it right. Let's get into the right octave. Try that again. There we go. Then I need my E and hit my eighth note. Now I'm hitting my D. You can hear it, I'm hitting the eighth note again. And then it's time for triplets. Now in uh, speedy entry, the way you get triplets is a little bit different. You do com you do option three. Now notice the little three will appear right up there. That means you're in triplet mode. I'm in triplet mode. Now I hit my A flat. There it is. And I enter it by just hitting an eighth note, but it will be in triplet eighth note now. Now I hit an F and hit a D and that entered my triplets and now since we're ending the song we're going to do final voicing that includes the six and the nine uh, six nine voicings hit whole note and there's my last voicing again it did add a extra measure just because i didn't deselect the adding extra measure you can just delete that okay and then as a final um act you can play it back now just by doing this little bit you may not get a sense of which you prefer. By the way, we have to change that to a uh, C sharp by hitting backslash. But if you do it for a while longer, this is just to get you started, but if you do it for a while longer, like when you're doing the other assignments this week and you make yourself use only speedy entry or, or, or half, do one of the copies in speedy entry and one of the copies in simple entry, I think you'll start to get a sense of what's what you might prefer. Now, you, again, you can make speedy entry behave like simple entry if you put on your caps lock. But again, you know, there's not much point to that unless you just prefer the interface of speedy entry. Uh, the real advantage of speedy entry is the ability to pause for a moment while you get your fingers already on the right notes and then hit the note value to enter it. And also to watch any other linked videos I have with this assignment.